Hey guys, it's Tom from Packager here. Today I wanted to make a video about a new feature that we've been working on, which is our custom applications. Uh, this is available for all customers on the business plan. And basically the goal of this is to uh, let customers uh, bring their own XE or MSI files and upload them directly to Packager. Um, it can then package up the application, test the install, test the detection, and save it back in Packager, which allows you to deploy it out to your customers in Tunes. Um, so we're just gonna look at it today and do a couple of uh, tests, and then we'll just talk about some of the limitations and some features that we're gonna be working on to improve it. Um, so to access it, you just click here. Um, we're gonna be looking at adding a new application. So we're gonna click the drop files or click to upload. And we're simply gonna select, today we're just gonna do a basic application. We'll start off with Notepad++. Um, this is an XE. So um, as you can see here, uh, it's, there's a few fil fields that we need to fill in. Um, the first one is the application name. Now this is used for app detection. This really only applies to XE files because with MSI, we can use the um, product code to detect the application a lot easier. So for this, we'll just, uh, simply add in like this, plus plus. And then you also need to include an install command. Now, as you as you can see here, it does say you can disable the setting for Packager to automatically search for an install command. So what we'll do is we'll turn this off. And with that, we can simply click verify. So what this does here is it basically sends off a request, uh, which loads up a cloud container um, and from here it downloads the application it will then scan it for malware once it passes that test it will attempt to install the application if it detects that the install has completed it will then search for the application in the registry and create a detection script based off that it will then test that detection just like it would in you know the detection script from intune and if it passes that it will then mark it as approved and send it back to Packager and save it in your app library. So as you can see here, it's scanning the application and now it's testing the install. And if it fails at any stage here, it will send a notification back to Packager. And we do try to capture uh, what the error is. So if it fails at any stage, you at least have an idea of what's going on and you may be able to fix it from your side. Um, there might be cases where it doesn't work and you need to just report it to us and we can look at the back end to get a better idea of where it's failing. Um, like we said, it's still in early beta. So uh, there are chances that an application can fail for certain circumstances. Uh, as you can see here, this one was successful. So we'll click view and you get prompted with a few different uh, things to fill out. So there's two versions of the application name. One is the one that will be viewed in Intune. So you probably want this to be, you know, your more um, professional or what the customer is going to see. Um, and then the other one is a friendly name. So that might be, you know, you want, might just wanna backspace this out and just put in Packager Test or something like that. And then you'll be able to see that um, when you deploy it from Packager side. So you know which one you're looking at. Um, as you can see here, it did find the install command, which is just the um, forward slash S. Um, and then it found the uninstall command. It grabbed the publisher, the version, and then we can also upload the logo, which I downloaded earlier. There you go. And you can then save changes. And here it'll finish off processing the application and make it available. Uh, one thing that's not available to the end user yet is the detection that will only be visible once deployed to Intune. Um, so we've now got up here, click app library. And then from here, we will select add a new application. You can see here from the custom apps, we have uploaded a few custom apps ourselves, but if we scroll down, there is our notepad plus plus packager test. So we'll add that in. And this does give us a chance here to um, basically determine whether we want to change the install command or uninstall command. And this is valuable um, if in certain cert, um, circumstances you, you want to deploy it to multiple tenants and you want to change the key, like a license key or something like that, you can do it here. 
Uh, but that will just deploy it now. And that'll kick off a custom deployment. And this takes a little bit because it, um, unlike our standard um, applications, it's not actually built yet for your tenants. So it does kick off a whole process to build that application in real time and then deploy it into your tent. So we'll skip back once this is done. All right, as you can see here, it has completed deploying. So we'll just click here and select view in Intune. We'll just have a look at it and you can see here, it's brought in a description. Um, the app name is there, the logo is there, the install and uninstall command is there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come down here and we're gonna select and deploy it to our test user account. Um, and we will jump over onto a virtual machine and see that deployment in place. Okay, so we've just logged into the virtual machine and waited for the install process to kick off. So we can see Notepad++ then has just started downloading. Uh, should see that install successfully soon. And there we go, it's installed successfully. But let's just check that it's actually there. Yep. There it is and ready to go. And as you can see, it's prompting for an update because we uploaded a really old version. All right, I just wanna jump back to the portal to have a look at a couple more things before we finish the video. So I just wanna take a quick look at managing the custom applications back on the dashboard here. So if we click this, we can actually then select the manage option and that'll bring up a drop down of all the applications, or custom applications that we have added. So if we select Notepad++ here, we can delete it if we like, but we're actually gonna edit this just to take a look. So as you can see here, there's a few um, basic options, like you can change the logo or um, you know update the version or publisher. So we're just gonna leave that as is, but I just thought I would uh, show that as well. And that basically allows us to edit applications if we need. Um, cool. So again, this is available on the uh, business license that we have. Um, we also have a new feature for our private application repository as well, which is available on the business plan. I'm going to be doing another video about that um, very shortly. So stay tuned. Thanks everyone.